Welcome to day three of the 300 movie challenge. Today we watched the highest grossing film of August 1994, which was Clear and Present Danger, and... It took three of us to figure out what the heck was going on. And even when we kind of figured out what was going on, we didn't care. It was very, very, very <laughs> underwhelming. Like, yeah. I, I think I made, this co I made this comment earlier, and it was like... This was supposed to be a, a like a spy thriller movie, but I get more thrill watching the news because I feel more clear and present danger there. Yeah, like, okay, so apparently, first off, I think, oh, well, you done. Okay, so apparently this is like the third in a trilogy about some like Tom Clancy novels or something. So, you know, you I might think like, oh, you know, we might not understand the story because we didn't see the previous movies, but I don't think that's the case really no um it's just it doesn't especially okay once you get into like the last this kind of the second half and things kind of start making sense and i get it it's supposed to be like a spy thing so it makes sense that like you don't fully understand what's going on right at the beginning right that that's understandable but it like well first of all the problem is there's like 10 characters that all look the same yeah. yeah. So I we're like, who is who? <laughs> we like, couldn't figure uh, out who anyone was, and then finally, when they like killed half of them halfway through, it was like, oh, that helps a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And but then we still didn't weren't sure. Not only that, but the two women that were like at least more present during the movie—they well, yeah, look the same. Country. They look the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were sisters or something. Exactly. And it was just like, oh my god. And then, like, and then well, we were like. Who, who was that guy again? I don't know. The only person we knew the names of was Harrison Ford's character. And, and then the blonde then, guy. And the blonde guy, yeah. And James Earl Jones, but he like wasn't born at all, so whatever. No. no. <laughs> and then, oh, well, okay, and, and the, the cartel people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, those yeah. you could kind of figure out. But, like, all the, there were, like, five different white guys involved with the intelligence and CIA, and it's like, who, what? Who's on what side? Who's doing what, huh? Um, yeah. And, I feel and like... then it, like, switched locations and everything, too. It, yeah. switched it, it switched so many perspectives, and we were just like, what What? What are we even doing right yeah, now? What and are we even watching? The thing is, is that I looked up um, the other Tom Clancy uh, trilogy, uh, not videos, <laughs> movies, okay. and Tara and I actually watched them um, the search for the Red October, and that made perfect sense. Yes. When we watched it, that was actually a really good movie. But then, I had no idea that they were even connected, like that one and this one, and then this one. It had, it just had no pacing, I guess. Oh yeah, literally nothing yeah. interesting happens for the first forty minutes, and then even then, the only thing that happens is one place blows up, and then nothing else interesting happens for another like twenty minutes. So it's just like. Ugh. No, throughout the entire movie, we were like, okay, 40 minutes, took 40 minutes for something to happen. We still have the rest of the, what, of the movie to get through. Yeah, <laughs> and the thing is, this movie and Forrest Gump were like the same length. Yeah. This felt like it took like three times longer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like nothing happened for so much of it. And then when exactly. something, it's just like, oh. And like, okay, I guess the big twist is that, like, oh, the drug lord guy himself isn't the big bad guy. But we, like, guessed that in the first, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, because so... they showed him with his family and everything. Yeah, Honestly, we... he seemed pretty so... benign. <laughs> we're, yeah, literally, like, in the first, like, 15 or 20 minutes, we're like, oh, like, his security guy is gonna, like, double cross him. And he, like, that's the whole point of the movie. And it's, like, yeah. great twist that we didn't, that we didn't see coming at all. And it's just, like, uh. And then the whole no, thing. No, and even the parts where we were like, okay, that guy's gonna die here. Yep, that guy died. Uh, yeah. she, he, she's, she's dead. Yep, she died too. Yeah. <laughs> it was like. Half of it was. Like, the, the, the. The individual scenes were predictable, but then the overall plot was just like, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, Until and the even, very end. Yeah. And then we were like. And even then we were like, okay, so. That guy. We don't even know everyone's names still. No. <laughs> So we're just like, oh, okay, they're working together. I don't know what your name. We didn't even know the president's name until we saw oh, the yeah, credit. Yeah. yeah, 
<laughs> and we found different ways to entertain ourselves throughout the movie because it was so goddamn boring. <laughs> yeah, and like the action. Okay, so there was like the car action, the thing action scene with like the cars in the city, and then there was I guess like the final action thing. Well, there yeah. was a few little like military can counter things, but like. I guess the car one was like all right, but like even the action scenes like weren't that interesting. They were like okay, yeah. yeah. It was and just like, so predictable. Yeah, and it was just like it, if anything, it was just like oh, here's something happening. That's nice, but yep. okay. it wasn't particularly interesting. So, I mean, thinking about it, like there was nothing. I can't like point to something and say like that is horrible, right? Like there's nothing horrible. It's just nothing it's just, good. It's just okay. It's just it's, it underwhelming. Ranges, it ranges from okay to just bleh. Yeah. It's underwhelming. I guess and the, kind of dull. Yeah. I guess. I, I guess the be- like, the writing and like the acting was okay, but like yeah. you didn't care. <laughs> no, you didn't care about any of the characters really. Yeah. No. Like, it's, like that's for... the thing. That's what I said. Is that like oh, once we figured out the plot, it's like we still were like. Okay, but so what? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, that's not what you should have. You should care yeah. about the characters. <sighs> so, wah. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't even know what to say. I'm just like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching this movie. I can't no, really what I'm going to say. a big waste of time. I guess another thing to note is that all three of us feel the same about this film. <laughs> Yeah. And none of us had previously watched it either. Mm -hmm. I feel like we were just bored throughout the whole thing, so we were trying to find things to entertain ourselves to just not fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. It is pretty late. Especially for you. If I watched this in the theater, I probably would have (laughs) walked (laughs) out. It would have been like, "This, this isn't worth it. At least I got my popcorn and a drink. Bring it home. Yeah, bring it home and like put some other movie on. Yeah, like it's... Forrest Gump. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We should have like... watched it in the reverse order. <laughs> it's like the only clear and present danger of this movie is that you might fall asleep while watching it. Yeah. Ha! Sure. The puns. That was more entertaining than the entire movie. So, yeah, that that was the movie. Hooray. I still stand by the fact that my favorite character was the dog. Which was there for like 30 seconds. Yes, yep. but, but it held so much more of an impressionable role than everyone else in the film. It, looked, <laughs> it, it, it had energy to it. It was like kind of walking around like, yeah, I'm a dog, it's fun. And then it's just like, <laughs> everyone I'm else just is just dog. like, derp, derp, I'm doing a movie. They should have just made it like a Homeward Bound like thing about dogs, really. <laughs> That would have been more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, really though. I mean, the thing is, is that you can make a very gripping drama about, like, you know, CIA stuff. Because I remember watching this movie about the Cuban Missile Crisis. I don't even remember what the name is, but that one was interesting to watch because, like, there were stakes and people were like they had personality. Yeah. And here it's just extremely boring, and no one gives a shit about anyone. Yeah, and like. Mm-hmm. Because I was even thinking, like, even if it was just, like, a, an action movie of, like, people, like, you know, oh, there's this drug cartel and let's have this army, like, invade them or whatever. Like, that would at least be, like, in- entertaining, even if it's, yeah. like, kind of mindless and vapid. But it was, like... I'm going to regret saying this, but I think I would rather watch a Fast and Furious movie than watch this movie. You haven't even seen one. <laughs> I but... Uh, honestly, okay, I've seen one of those movies. I would watch that again over oh. watching this again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I would. Because at least the, you watch those for the action scenes and everything. And yeah. at least that's, it has something to it. But right. this, it took 40 minutes for something action to happen. And you were, and it was over in like five minutes too. Yeah, that's the 40 thing I... minutes between like the interesting scenes. Right, that's no. the thing. I would be like, oh, finally there's some action. And then it's over. And then there's no action again for a long time. And I'm just like, oh, god damn it. So, and, and, and like, okay, fine, you don't need it to be action all the time, it's <laughs> interesting, fine, but don't, everything else was just boring, it was, uh oh. And you didn't really care about them, and half the time you were trying to guess whose character was who, and you were just like, who was that guy again? There was I... the glasses guy, 
we called like we didn't even know who the glasses guy's name was for the longest time. Then there was a guy with glasses in the car that died, and we were like, "Oh, okay." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah there were two guys, <laughs> yeah. two white guys with glasses, and we're like, "Oh, the glasses guy died." Wait, no, we didn't. Wait, there were two. Okay. The thing is, is that they all have the same hair style, and they have the same face for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, except Harrison Ford. Yeah. Except Harrison Ford and the blonde guy because he had blonde hair. Right. As opposed yeah. to brown hair that was slicked back in like this certain way that makes him look like a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's like nothing else to say. No, really don't just don't hear us complain about it. But what we like. Being... Yeah, it's boring. Don't watch it. No. Yeah. There. <laughs> there you go. That's all you need to know. It's boring. Don't watch it. <sighs> um, but I don't know. Looking, looking forward, at least, I'd hope that the next couple films we'll be watching, um, will at least be entertaining. Yes, yeah. at the very least. At the very least, it might be stupidly entertaining, but I think it they should be entertaining. But we'll have to see about that next time. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, right. it'll be better than this. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, that's that. Goodbye. Yep. Bye. Bye.